Okay, so here it is, the new video. Continuing on the theme of, um, trying to remember how to say it, um, Ubakarta Bekaim, that is, choose life. And, by the way, again, since I was born in the diaspora, Hebrew is not my native language, although it is my ancestral language. And, anyway, though, so, um, Two more examples of choosing life really quickly. One example, of course, is the guy who was born with his head turned in an awkward position and his parents, instead of, instead of ceasing to breastfeed him, they decided, you know what, we're gonna give him a normal life and we're gonna accommodate for him best we can and he basically became the next Nick Vojtacek, or at least that's what he's becoming, so he's like Brazil's Nick Vojtacek. And then the second example is a boy who was born with only a brain stem and then also born with hydrocephalus or whatever the case was, actually lived to be 12 years old and um, he taught his mother so much and so that was an example and people keep saying, well, you know, if a woman this and a woman that, well, you know what though, you can choose life. And I mean, even in the Joan Rivers case, her family could have said, you know what, she's done, she's 81, she's finished. But they did try to choose life for her, they did try to keep her on life support. And I mean, it's sad that she passed away, but I mean, she was 81 and all that. Still, her family chose life for her, they didn't have to try to save her. And, um, oh, 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 my uh, dog just ran away, so yeah, that was interesting. Alright, I gotta go.